Well, welcome back to our um, second entry into the world of circles in the conic section unit. All right, so here's what we've got. This time we're going to take our circle. He's no longer going to be at the center, or he's no longer going to be at the origin, I should say, but the center is not going to be shifted. Well, this is exactly like what we've covered in class with parabolas. Remember we said that a parabola that's no longer, um, that's vertex is no longer at the origin of the graph is written in this, either of these forms, that we have y minus k squared equals 4 p x minus h or we also have a vertical parabola which would be x minus h squared equals 4 p and then y minus k whoops k all right so that's that's a parabola the h and the k, that's going to tell you your center points. Guys, a circle, same exact deal. So I'm going to erase this since we're not talking really about parabolas anymore, but we're talking about circles. We said in the last video that the equation of a circle with its center at the origin was just simply x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Well, the only difference is with this um, with this problem, we got to take into account the um, fact that the center is no longer at the origin. So just like with the parabola, we're going to have this situation: x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Okay, my center. This guy right here. This is h. K. So look, I've got x minus negative 2, so that's x plus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals r squared. Well, r here is 3, so r squared is 9. Yay. It's all done. That's it. So let's do another example. Um, here you go. Here's some examples that we did in class. If I give you the, the center's at negative 5, negative 9. The radius is 7. Okay, well, then what do we have? That's just x minus h, so x plus 5 x plus 5 squared plus y plus 9 squared equals radius is 7 so 7 times 7 is 49 and then we've got this that's all there is to do for number 1 number 2 same exact deal I'm going to have x minus 4 squared plus y minus 13 squared and that's going to equal 9. Alright, what else? General form of the equation of a circle. Okay, what this is saying is that we're going to get this really awful looking equation which is written in the general form which is going to be some x squared plus y squared plus some number dx plus some number ey plus f equals zero and we're going to convert it over to the standard form we do it by completing the square and it's no different than what we've been doing in class with parabolas so let's just jump straight to an example and I'm sure that everybody's going to go oh this is so easy it's actually the motto of our second block uh, class. 
So here's what we've got. We're going to group our x's and our y's together. So we're going to have x squared plus 4x. I'm going to leave a little space here. I got y squared minus 6y. And then I've got this negative 23 here on the left side of the equal sign. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 23 to both sides. And when I add 23 to both sides, my negative 23 is now positive 23 when it's on the other side of the equal sign. So now, what I'm going to do, i got to complete the square here. So I'm going to take 4, take it in half, that's 2, 2 squared is 4. And then what I'm going to do is take this guy right here, negative 6, half of that's negative 3, negative 3 squared is 9, and then, so I added 4, and I added 9 on this side, so let me add it on the other side. So I add 4, I add 9, and then when I factor this left side, I'm going to get x plus 2 squared plus y minus... 3 squared equals 23 plus 4 plus 19. Well, I'm pretty sure that's 36. Now, 36, that's r squared, right? So what's r? Well, r is 6. My center, I look at my h and k values. My center is going to be at negative 2 and 3. So all I have to do is graph that. So like we stated earlier, we're going to graph this guy. Let's look at it. I'm going to just go ahead and pull up a piece of graph paper. My center is at negative 2, 3. So negative 2, 1, 2, 3 right here. My radius is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I'm going to go 6 in this direction. So that's right here. 6 in this direction, which is off the grid. And again, I'm going to cheat because these circles are so much better than looking than the ones I draw by hand. And eh, I'm off a little bit, but it's good enough. And there we go. That's graphing it. Um, really, there's nothing more to it. We can do one more real quick just to go over the process. Actually, why don't you pause the video, try it yourself. And then when you get done, I'll have it all worked out. So let's see, we got x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 4y equals 1. Remember, it's negative on this side, positive on this side. I'm going to complete the square. I get x. Oh, Austin just came in and messed me up. Um... I've got, what am I going to do? Okay, take half of 4, square it. That gives me, golly, now I'm really flustered. Okay, so I'm going to take 4, cut it in half, which is 2. 2 squared is 4. There we go. Now we're on a roll. Now this guy, half of negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. So I added 4 here, I added 4 here on this side. I've got to add 8. Now, this is going to be... Oh, I should have changed colors. All right, so I've got this together. I've got this together. So this guy right here, he's going to factor out to be x plus 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 9. My center is going to be at negative 2, 2, and then my radius is going to be 3. All right, well, sorry for batching up, botching up that last example, but I think pretty sure you get the idea. Hope you had fun.